everything that people say is meant to push you forward. Some of it is meant to hold you back. Selfishness and fear is what facilitates a lot of hate. We all deserve to see beautiful things and experience beautiful things. Growing up, it was definitely like this ongoing identity crisis that I was having. Obviously, I'm black and I'm proud of that and I love that, but at the same time, I don't believe my parents brought me to this earth to be like everybody else. When I think of home, I think of little brown kids playing soccer and orange rooms and wooden photo frames and masses of religious things on the walls. And I think of the smell of my mom cooking quesadillas and refried beans. If we can find this place where we can give people of color the place to be opulent, it's a reclamation. I want to be surrounded by beauty, like we all deserve that. I don't think building a home is where you lay your stuff. I think building a home is kind of a place where you feel safe. I have an emotional attachment to LA because I have an emotional attachment to the people here, the culture, the fact that it's beautiful. I feel like it's just full of light. Light just hits different out here. The light hits different. I was like, literally the smog. Is it the song? Yeah. <laughs> you can edit that out. <laughs> Maybe it's just magic. <laughs> I never knew that I wanted to be an artist. Going into something with a child like mine doesn't just mean going into it with like the energy of youth, but going into it with the naivete, with the purity, knowing that this is something that is new. I think the simplicity of growing up again is something that everyone can understand because we're never really adults. We're not gonna like completely lose our traditions. We're not gonna lose our culture. We're gonna take it with us. You gotta know what you want. You gotta put yourself out there and you gotta go do it. You gotta man finesse. Everyone would get these white sneakers and like literally wear them into oblivion. And my mom would never let me do that as some sort of fashion statement. I finally got the white shoe. I was a six-year-old Gabby and I said, I want to make a Nike shoe. They'd be like, have fun with that. That's not real. <laughs> Boom. <laughs>